I'm very sad to say that that song does not play in the actual movie. And to get your first question out of the way, HA! No, I don't know how to play the guitar. My uncle needed a guitar for something, got the wrong one, asked if I wanted this one, and it was like, <gasps> YES! Because one day, I will need it for a movie review of a Dungeons and Dragons movie where the main character has a freaking guitar, and I will want a guitar in that video with me. Those were my exact words. Five years ago. I knew five years ago this movie was coming out. I'm motherfucking psychic. And crazy. And just like the guitar, never once have I played D&D in my life. I have a friend who's really into it, but I never played it myself. But do you really need to know anything about D&D to like this movie? Uh, no. Because this might be the most fun I've had in a movie this year so far. I had a blast with it. I knew I was in love with this movie right from the moment it starts out with two of our main leads, played by Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez, busting out of prison in a very humorous way. This movie may be called Dungeons and Dragons, but that's not what the movie's really trying to be, and I think most people know that going in. It just wants to be a really fun and entertaining fantasy action comedy with some nods to the source material here and there. You can tell that all the actors had an absolute blast making this, and all of them did a great job with their line delivery, the jokes, and all the characters are really enjoyable, and they bring a lot of charm to the picture. Especially Hugh Grant, who has some of the best bits and was one of my favorite parts of the entire movie. All the action scenes throughout are just great, and they give you the kind of action you'd want to see in a movie like this. I also gotta really appreciate things how, yes, they do fight a dragon at one point in this movie, but it's not the dragon on this poster, and it's a really funny payoff to what it actually is. But can anyone else agree with me that that dragon looks like it should be saying, Not the mama, not the mama! The CGI ranges from really good to really cartoony, but it works good with its goofy tone, and there are a lot of great creature designs. It is also just a really bright and colorful movie. It also has some really damn good cinematography and editing. There's one chasing that's all done in one shot, involving a character that can turn into a bunch of different creatures, and it's really well done. There was also a lot of great set pieces, costume designs, and very creative ideas. I especially love this one thing where they have this staff that can make like portals around you, so like, one will be over here, one will be up there, but you gotta go through this one to get up there, and eventually they get the idea to take picture frames and put the portals on the picture frames to where they just stay there. I thought that was a really cool idea. And because of all that, I just had so much freaking fun with this. The movie doesn't come out until March 31st, with some early screenings on the 29th, and when you get a chance to go see it, do it immediately. I'm declaring this a must watch. You'll have a fun time at the movies. I'm gonna give Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves an A. I am crossing my fingers very hard right now that Mario turns out to be this good, because if not, I will be very upset. I'm also starting to realize that I made a perfect choice to start doing movie reviews right now, because like in the last month, I've had a handful of early screenings. I don't even know which one this is. Fourth, fifth one, who cares? And I got another one tomorrow night. But can someone explain to me why this one was an Amazon Prime exclusive? But anyway guys, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and check out my review for the movie Sing A Bit of Harmony. I had no reason to review that, but I watched it and was like, you know what, I really want to talk about this. And I'll be back with more reviews very soon. See you then. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with a broke. My uncle needed a guitar for something, got the wrong one, asked if I wanted this one, and I was all like, oh, yes, because one day I would be doing the... My uncle needed a guitar for something, and then asked me if I wanted this one because he got the wrong one, and my immediate response was, oh, yes, because one day I'll be doing movie reviews where I'll need a Dungeons and Dragons audience. What the?